but as a theory that humans lost their ability to produce vitamin C because it's harmful to carnivores in the bigger amounts. Yes, it is. How come other predators like felines, etc., kept it then? They use a different different mechanisms, completely different mechanisms. We use uric acid in our system. They have ways of degrading vitamin C that we don't. If we don't eliminate vitamin C, it will basically degrade to oxalate, which is toxic. And if you, you know, yeah, so it's not a good thing. We don't need a lot anyway, because in a low insulin state, in a species appropriate state, we upregulated glutathione and intracellular antioxidants like super oxide dismutase, stuff like that. Under those conditions, um, we do not need much vitamin C or vitamin E. Both those are not required in large amounts. What we get from a carnivore diet is sufficient. What glutathione does is it recycles these. See, vitamin C and vitamin E can become pro-oxidants. Once they've given away an electron to stabilize tissue, they can become pro-oxidants. But if you'll keep on recycling them with glutathione, not an issue. We can generate much higher levels of glutathione and superoxide dismutase under certain physiological conditions like a species appropriate diet, like a low carbohydrate state and all that. Other animals don't work that way. And other animals also use vitamin C in a very different way. We use vitamin C in, a, in some similar ways, but in other ways slightly different. And we actually use uric acid as a vitamin C more than vitamin C or vitamin E. And the other thing is for reparative, that means collagen reparative functions, we don't use vitamin C. We use basically LP little a, lipo, um, you know, so LP little a is what we use, which is a modified version of LDL. All animals, let me say this again, every single animal on the planet that cannot synthesize vitamin C uses uric acid and LP little a. Any animal that basically has vitamin C, has much lower, um, uh, you know, doesn't have LP little a at all, doesn't generate LP little a, gene doesn't transcript, doesn't produce it, because it doesn't need to. So all animals that are using LP little a have very low, do not bio synthesize by um, vitamin C, none of them. Got it? So that's the difference. We're not cats. You know, so completely different species, completely different mechanisms for protecting tissue or electron doning or whatever else. Um, so different mechanisms. Some similar, but a lot of different. So yes, I completely agree with him. There is virtually very little requirement. And you can get enough from meat. Remember Napoleon's troops? They slaughtered horses to get to eliminate scurvy. You don't need much. But if you're deranged, you know, you're on a, um, you're on basically a state of, see, these guys would have been starving. They would have had very little nutrition. So they were in a catabolic state. They would have had some level of ketosis. They would have upregulated certain pathways that you get in a low carbohydrate state. They would have had less sugar coming in. As a consequence, when they threw in the meat with a vitamin C, fix the scurvy. Plus, it also fixed their nutritional deficiencies at that point. They were in a war situation. So, yes, a lot of things very different.